Uh, hi everyone, happy to be Shvat. I'm in Israel, in my town, Zichon, and today is to be Shvat, and I'd like to share some thoughts with you about to be Shvat. Why is it so important? How in, it's related to last week's uh, Parsha, last week's Torah portion, uh, when uh, we crossed the Red Sea. So, interesting to note that Hasidic thought has a unique perspective on the splitting of the Red Sea and how to be Shvat. According to Hasidic teachings, the splitting of the Red Sea represents the ultimate act of redemption, in which Hashem rescued the Jews from slavery to, from Egypt and brought them to freedom. This event symbolizes the process of spiritual liberation that every person can experience as they move closer to Hashem, Hashem being God. To be Shvat, the New Year for Trees, which we celebrate today, is a holiday that marks the start of the springtime and the renewal of life in the natural world. Now, Hasidic thought sees To be Shvat as the celebration of the potential for growth and the renewal that exists within every person. Just as a tree can grow and flourish, so too a person can grow and flourish in their spiritual journey. The splitting of the Red Sea and Tubi Shafat are therefore closely related in Hasidic thought. The splitting of the Red Sea represents the ultimate act of redemption and the potential for spiritual liberation that exists within every person. Tubi Shafat presents the opportunity for growth and renewal as every person works to develop their spiritual potential. One of the key lessons that Hasidic thought draws from the splitting of the Red Sea is the importance of faith of Amunah, as we say in Hebrew. Just as the Jews had faith in Hashem when they approached the Red Sea, so too every person must have faith in Hashem as they work to grow and develop their spiritual potential. Without faith, it's impossible to experience true spiritual growth. Another key lesson in the importance of humility is the importance of humility, according to Hasidic teachings, the Jews were able to cross the Red Sea only because they recognized their own limitations and they relied on Hashem for help. Similarly, every person must be willing to recognize their own limitations and rely on Hashem in order to experience spiritual growth. Humility is therefore an essential ingredient in the process of spiritual growth. The splitting of the Red Sea also teaches us about the importance of the power of redemption of repentance. Just as the Jews were able to escape slavery in Egypt through the help of Hashem, so too every person can escape the slavery of their own negative habits and tendencies through the power of tshuva, re repentance. By recognizing our mistakes and turning towards Hashem, we can experience spiritual liberation and growth. Finally, the splitting of the Red Sea and to be shvat, both emphasize the importance of connection to Hashem. Just as the Jews were rescued from slavery because of their connection to Hashem, so to every person can experience spiritual growth and liberation as they work to develop a deeper connection to Hashem. This connection is the foundation of all spiritual growth and the key to unlocking our full potential. Facing these lessons, we can all work to become closer to Hashem and reach our full potential. Habit Bishvat.